In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. With the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, into your nail-pierced hands, we place all of our regrets and resentments and mistakes of the past, all of our repented sins, struggles, and burdens of the present, and all of our fears and worries and apprehensions of the future. As you say to each one of us, come to me, all you who labor, and I have a burden, and I will give you rest. From the Magnificat, page 50, the hymn to the tune, Lo, how a rose air blooming. When Mary brought her treasure unto the holy place, no eye of man could measure the joy upon her face. He was but six weeks old. Her plaything and her pleasure, her silver and her gold, when Simeon on him gazing with wonder and with love, his aged voice upraising gave thanks to God above. Now welcome, sweet release, for I, my Saviour praising, may die at last in peace. And she, all sorrow scorning, rejoiced in Jesus' fame. The child, her arms adorning, shone softly like a flame that burns the whole night through, and keeps from dusk till morning its vigil clear and true, as by the sun in splendor the flags of night are furled, so darkness shall surrender to Christ who lights the world, to Christ the star of day, who once was small and tender, a candle's gentle ray. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Psalm 136. O Lord, si Simeon and Anna waited in patient faith for the dawning of the Son of Justice. Let us seek the Lord with all our hearts as they did, so that we too may recognize him when he comes into our lives. Amen. Coming forward at that very time, Anna gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were waiting the redemption of Jerusalem, Luke 2, 38. From Romans 8, 24 to 25, in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. 
In you we hope, for you we wait. Intercessions on page 52. The world waits the full revelation of God's mercy in Jesus Christ, as Simeon and Anna waited. It is your face, O Lord, that we seek. It is your face, O Lord, that we seek. You came to the people that had long awaited your, you, your coming. Come to those who serve you in patient hope. It is your face, O Lord, that we seek. You were brought to the temple as an offering from and for the poor. Come to those who have pledged to you their poverty. It is your face, O Lord, that we seek. You were offered in the temple as you would offer yourself on the cross. Come to those who have offered themselves to you through religious vows and through marriage vows. It is your face, O Lord, that we seek. You join your mother's offering to your own. Remember those who take part in your passion. It is your face, O Lord, that we seek. Almighty and ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Father, as we reflect on the day that has passed, forgive us for the ways in which we have not cooperated with your grace, the ways we have not loved you with the Son and the Holy Spirit with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, and our neighbor as ourselves, that we have not done to others as we would have them do to us. But we thank you for the times in which we have cooperated with your grace. We thank you that this day you have used us and grant that we may be channels of your grace to all we meet. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Beatitudes. The refrain is, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Blessed are they that mourn, for they will be comforted. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Kiri eh eleison. Kiri eh eleison. Kiri eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kiri eleison. Kiri eleison. Kiri e. Eleison. Night Prayer for Tuesday, Compline, on page 1278 in Volume 3 of the American Breviary, Liturgy of the Hours, Catholic Book Publishing, 1970. Or in the iBreviary app, or 
the Laudate app. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. As a child has rest on its mother's arms, even so my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Proverbs 3, 24 through 26. When you lie down, you need not be afraid. When you rest, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, of the ruin of the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from the snare. Glory to thee, my God, this night, for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, O oh, keep me, King of kings, beneath thine own almighty wings. Forgive me, Lord, for thy dear Son, the ill that I this day have done, that with the world, myself and thee, I ere I sleep at peace may be. Teach me to live that I may dread, the grave as little as my bed, teach me to die, that so I may rise glorious at the awful day. O oh, may my soul on thee repose, and with sweet sleep my eyelids close, sleep that may me more vigorous make, to serve my God when I awake. Praise God from whom all blessings flow, praise him all creatures here below, Praise him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. On page 1278. Do not hide your face from me, in you I put my trust. Do not hide your face from me, in you I put my trust. Psalm 143. Verses 1 through 11, prayer in distress. Only by faith in Jesus Christ is a man made holy in God's sight. No observance of the law can achieve this. Galatians 2, 16. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse in what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer. For my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from 1 Peter 5, 8 through 9. Stay sober and alert. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Solid in your faith. Responsory. 
Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And to fun for the Nook Dimittis. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep. That awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. The Gospel Canticle of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis, Luke 2, 29-32. Christ is the light of the nations and the glory of Israel. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, were without end. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ and asleep rest in his peace. Let us pray. Lord, fill this night with your radiance. May we sleep in peace and rise with joy to welcome the light of a new day in your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord grant us a restful night and a peaceful death. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving Mother of the Redeemer, Gate of Heaven, Star of the Sea, assist your people who have fallen, yet strive to rise again. To the wonderment of nature you bore your Creator, yet remained a virgin after as before. You who receive Gabriel's joyful greeting, have pity on us, poor sinners. O oh God, we turn to you, for you care for all. Fill us with earnest humility. As we cry out to you, hear us, Lord. Be mindful of your church. Defend our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Aid our Bishop, Sean. Assist our nation. Reward those who have been good to us. Keep married couples, one in love. Guide parents in the fulfillment of their responsibilities. Give work to the unemployed. Grant assistance to those in need. Be a helper to the poor. Shield those who endure persecution. Bring home those who have wandered. Give unending glory to those who have died. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, in Christ your Son, you have shown your glory to the world. Guide the work of your church. Help it to proclaim your name, to persevere in faith, and to bring your salvation to people everywhere. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. All powerful God, Christ your Son, became man for us and was presented in the temple. May he free our hearts from sin and bring us into your presence. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. From Job 19, 25 and 26. I know that my Redeemer lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust and from my flesh. I shall see God. Isaiah 25, 8. God will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. 
O God, our Creator and Redeemer, by your power Christ conquered death and returned to you in glory. May all your people who have gone before us in faith share his victory and enjoy the vision of your glory forever, where Christ lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And in the Missalette, An Act of Faith, Hope, and Love, and a Prayer for the Sick, on page 171. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God and three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son became man, died for our sins, and that he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because you have revealed them, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. O oh my God, an act of hope. Relying on your almighty power and infinite mercy and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of all my sins, the help of your grace and life everlasting through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. O oh my God, an act of love. I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul because you are good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Prayer for the sick. Lord our God, you sent your Son into the world to bear our infirmities and endure our sufferings. For your servants who are sick, we ask your blessing. We'll give them strength and overcome their weakness through the power of patience and the comfort of hope. And that with your aid, they will soon be restored to health. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas for the needy. Grant, Lord, that we may gladly share what we have with the needy, humbly ask for what we need from him who has, sincerely admit the evil I have done, calmly bear the evil I suffer, and not envy my neighbor for his blessings. And thank you unceasingly wherever, whenever you hear my prayer. Amen. Evening prayer to God the Father on page 172. O eternal God and ruler of all creation, you have allowed me to reach this hour. Forgive the sins I have committed this day by word, deed, or thought. Purify me, O Lord, from every spiritual and physical stain. Grant that I may rise from this sleep to glorify you by my deeds throughout my entire lifetime, and that I be victorious over every spiritual and physical enemy. Deliver me, O Lord, from all vain thoughts and from evil desires. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Prayer on page 175. The prayer, or the, or rather on 174. The prayer of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. O oh, Father, the first rule of our dear Savior's life was to do your will. Let his will of the present moment be the first rule of our daily life and work, with no other desire but for its most full and complete accomplishment. Help us to follow it faithfully, so that doing what we wish, what you wish, we will be pleasing to you. Amen. The Prayer of Abandonment of Saint Char of Blessed Charles de Foucault into your hands. Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all, I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands without reserve with boundless confidence, for you are my Father. The Prayer of St. Francis of Assisi on page 175. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace, where there is hatred, let me sow love, where there is injury, pardon, where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, 
where there is darkness, light, and where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, and it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. O oh Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O oh Lord, and in your great mercy. Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O oh merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness that by night, as by day, your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace and let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, we pray for this world so tormented by strife, by injustice, and by war. Grant us peace, peace between nations and peoples and races, justice in all relationships, and grant harmony and prospering in body, mind, and spirit to our nation and to every nation and people. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends on each other's toil, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And on the back cover of the Missalette, Pope St. John Paul II's Prayer to Mary, Queen of Peace. Mary, Queen of Peace, save us all, who have so much trust in you, from wars, hatred, and oppression. Make us all learn to live in peace, and educate ourselves for peace. Do what is demanded by justice and respect the rights of every person so that peace may be firmly established. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, of life, of sweetness, and of hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vite Dulcedo, Espe Nostre Salve, a te clamamus, exules fili e te, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale, ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum, fructum ventris tui, nobis, post hoc exilium ostende. O oh, 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 clemens, o oh, 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 pia, o oh, o oh, o oh, o oh, o oh, o o o dulcis virgo Maria. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee near, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guard. Amen. O heavenly King, comfort a spirit of truth, who are everywhere present in filling all things. O treasury of blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, and you, brethren, to pray for that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I beseech Blessed Mary of a Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the holy apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, and you, brethren, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen.
Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Have a blessed night, for Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Father Paul Ring, Maureen Tibbetts, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Sean Patrick Driscoll, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Ginny Flynn Brady, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Kate O'Neill, Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be. Carol Cahill, Christ is in our midst. He is and always will be. Good night now.